Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is another part in our security videos. It's interesting because I was looking at the comments and of course um, the uh, comments vary. Some people aren't you know, necessarily agreeing with the fact that you need a better antivirus or you know we all have our way of thinking and our way of, um, of, of seeing security. Uh, but anybody that is a tech guy all agree with one thing is the antivirus isn't that important and usually you know there's this um, sense of um, I would say first of all that when you purchase antivirus you have a false sense of security and that's one of the things you need to know anybody that buys antivirus uh, because they think it's better uh, first of all, you know, there's always been that uh, unsecure side to using a computer on the internet, which is fine. I mean, um, you better be uh, unsecure and try to do the best than to not do what is needed. But unfortunately, it's um, directed in the wrong direction. And today in 2020, you do not need antivirus. It's, uh, it, it's you know, the one that's win with Windows is enough. And of course, a lot of people will read between the lines and what they think is what, you know, is said. But in reality, if you do uh, download uh, cracks for software or, you know, illegal software, music and so on, it's interesting because everybody that does that thinks that, oh, well, I just have that big antivirus that you probably hacked because anyways, you steal everything on the Internet. And the funniest part is, as a tech guy, a lot of hacked antiviruses that had cracks and so on actually were not working and or were working only partially because they were modified to let you think that they're protecting you, but in reality, they are not. And that happened very often. Not with all of them, but yes, there are some and you have no idea. And especially when you're not a tech guy when you're not somebody that knows a lot about computers that is one thing that you have no idea second of all even if you have your antivirus one of the things that also no one understands when they are doing illegal stuff on the internet is that that antivirus will not see it when you will actually get something bad it will still be working most of the time I don't know how many times I've seen that People notice little glitches, little weird things here and there, but they think it's, you know, normal or whatever, or it's Windows. When in reality, some malware is on the PC running without the antivirus ever interfering or saying anything. Because remember this, whatever antivirus, whatever software you're using to protect yourself, there are tons of things that it can detect. And more and more, the malware is written in a way that they don't even see it. And that's where doing illegal stuff on the internet is a bad idea. There is this false sense of being or feeling safe when you buy antivirus. And um, that any tech guy will tell you, anybody that's good in security will tell you, no, no, don't rely on your, on, on your antivirus. That's, that's not the way it works. And um, the thing that you need to do is really what you do with your PC. The other thing that often is the case is people say, well, you know, I bought a Mac because it's more secure. It's not more secure. Uh, if you do the same thing, if you download Mac hacked software, if you download bad stuff, you're going to be bitten by malware, viruses, and ransomware at the same level that you are in Windows. Same goes for Linux. It's not more secure, and Windows is not less secure than other operating systems. It's actually darn good. And in the next video, I'm going to show you one little thing. If you are multiple users of a PC, uh, one of the things that might help you protect yourself with um, a PC also, and it's very important, um, is to lower the privileges of the other users and keep only one administrator. But overall, keep in mind that your antivirus is not protecting you. 
if you do think it is, you'll get bitten, and that is absolutely sure. Um, it's interesting, really, people have the um, way of thinking that is totally reversed. And keep your system up to date is the best bet that you can do. Make sure that the software you use up to date and don't download any, you know, pe people are, are, are funny because I see so many that seem to be proud to have stolen software. Stealing is stealing. Whatever it's software, whatever it's stealing in a store, it's the same thing. You are a thief and that's it. And I have no respect anyways for anybody that does steal software as, um, you know, people are making um, a living out of that on the other end. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.